Salt Bay's restaurant in Boston has been shut down not once, but twice. First, it was shut down by the mayor of Boston when Salt Bay decided to open without a health permit and wasn't following COVID guidelines. Naughty, naughty. Then just months later, I shut down his restaurant personally when I made a better version of his $1,100 gold steak at home for about 1 one hundredth of the price. While we did have a dashingly handsome waiter, all it took was a few dollars worth of gold leaf and a nice piece of Wagyu to crush Salt Bay. Now, I think it's time we shut him down again. This time by making his gold-covered burger, but better and cheaper at home. First, Remy's gonna remind you to go down and like the video. And now, it's time to go taste the real thing. So we are headed back to Salt Bay's restaurant. My hope is that they don't recognize us today because we weren't exactly kind in our last video. We've seen all the hype, all those gold-plated steaks, that guy, whatever his name is, dry humping all sorts of tables while he cuts it for people. Looks like Salt Bay might've just dry humped all the customers away. <laughs> the gold of course really doesn't add much other than the look. To be totally honest, I'm not gonna go there again anytime soon, purely because of the price. With all of that said, I am looking forward to trying that gold-covered burger today. I heard it can actually be super juicy. And as long as Salt Bay's not dry humping my table while I try to eat, it might actually be a fun experience. Either way though, you know we're gonna head back home and make a better version after. And it looks like we're pulling up. All right, we have just gotten seated, and just like last time, it is dead empty in here. And just to prove that to you, I had Manny take a tour around the whole restaurant to check out the scene. And I don't think he found anyone. I don't understand how this place is in business. Here we go, gentlemen. Manny, you ready for this? And that's cappuccino and the Caribbean breeze. You gotta be careful not to tilt the flag into the fire, huh? No! Oh, shit, Manny, the table's on fire. The table's on fire. Manny, you just set the table on fire. I because it went on my hand. Did you get burnt? Yeah, I burnt my hand. I might make fun of Salt Bay a lot, but if there's one thing he can do, it's pick great servers. Immediately after Manny set his hand on fire, I stepped onto the grill and it clamped down on my foot. I don't see what's so hard to believe about that. They brought out ice, some burn cream. They are all genuinely super, super nice. And that to me is the most important thing at any restaurant, the people. Still, f Yes, one gold burger. It's our infamous gold burger. Medium rare, medium. Whatever you recommend. Medium rare because it is a Wagyu. Okay. So you don't want to burn away all the fat on the Wagyu. You want some of the umami mouthfeel and that unsaturated fat so it's healthy fat. Wagyu is healthy? Yes, it's been proven in studies, I believe. Like you have good cholesterol. I think I have good cholesterol, maybe. Yeah. Maybe not, maybe. No, As we wait here, this here is actually a salt shaker. I figured they could use some slightly higher quality salt. So we're going to help them out a little bit. Gentlemen, let me present our New York strip in a spaghetti format. It's basically, Wagyu spaghetti. It smells really good. The Osmo salt drop. Let's see it. Beautiful. That is good stuff. Shake and bake. Sorry about the fire incident. Well, right there. He's lighting right. everything on fire today. I'm going to be honest, Manny. I want to hate this because I don't love salt bay. Though I do love all the servers here. But this is really good. Wagyu spaghetti is my jam. Go time. A lot of stuff happening. Thank you. Sir, you don't finish yet. Juicing? Juicy. Look at that juice, Manny. <laughs> it's a lot of cheese. What is perfect cheese? What kind of cheese? Cheddar. Cheddar? Oh my gosh. Oh my. We both get one gold, one regular. Perfect, Seven. right? Alright, so first things first, we gotta do a juiciness test of this burger. Juicy. Oh. Oh. That's a good burger. So obviously, aesthetically, the gold burger does look fantastic. It's super fun. They definitely cooked the burger on the rare side, which I'm okay with since it's high quality meat. And that gold gets all over your fingers. Let's take a dive in of the gold burger and see if it's any different. Yes, I think the gold is awesome and it looks really cool. Other than the fact that it's cooked much more rare, but it doesn't add any flavor. Either way, let's finish up our meal and head back and make this at home. Gentlemen, thank you, chef. Is Manny, by the way, your sous chef? He is indeed. <laughs> Excellent sous chef. <laughs> We'd finished up our meal, but upon leaving, Manny decided to do one last Osmo salt sprinkle alongside Salt Bay himself. On our way back to our kitchen, Manny drove separately and got in a small car accident. Don't worry, he's back in one piece. Our perfect buns are complete. Nick, they're lopsided. For our patties, we have a beautiful piece of Australian Wagyu ribeye. We'll grind up all this meat until it's perfect. While we let that meat firm up in the fridge, it's time to do our caramelized onions, which will take the longest out of anything in this process. Nick, okay. I told you not to film this. For our caramelized onions, a tiny knob of butter. And once that's nice and melted, in with our onions, followed immediately with a nice big pinch of Osmo. And my secret ingredient for the best caramelized onions we'll ever taste. A tablespoon or two of sugar. Do not stop with your caramelized onions until they look like this. And even when they look like this, you can keep going. Proper caramelized onions should take at least one hour. For our patties, we'll make nice balls of Wagyu, then place this down in our hot pan and smash. And of course, they deserve a nice little shower of Osmo. After we flip each of our patties, I'll move them off to the side of my pan, then tilt to get all 
that Wagyu fat on one side of my pan and get our buns nice and golden brown. And seconds later, you have the perfect toasted bun. I mean, just look at those bubbles. We're about to fill this with a burger you can't possibly imagine. First up, one of our crispy smash patties with a nice hunk of cheddar cheese. We'll lightly torch to melt down the cheese, just enough to get it melty and gooey while still holding that nice shape. Next, we'll go on with our second smash patty, followed by yet another piece of cheddar cheese, melted in the exact same way. Last but not least, we'll take a nice large pile of our caramelized onions and place those over the top of the burger. This will give us a sweet and chewy texture. Now on we go with our golden brown bun, but we can't forget our gold. For this part here, we have to be very delicate, gently laying the gold over the side of the buns and closing around it so that the gold just hugs on to our bun. I'll apply just a few pieces of my gold until my entire bun is covered. Other than the fact that we have this pretentious and unnecessary gold leaf at the top, this here is the burger of most people's dreams. We have our perfectly toasted buns, those gooey caramelized onions, and nice melted cheddar cheese over crispy smash patties. Let's cut in and see if it's juicy. Time to slice in. Hopefully my nerves will be calmer than the servers we had at Salt Bay. Let's make it juice. Oh yeah! It's time for a bite of our very own burger. Easy 10 out of 10. That's it, we've officially closed down Salt Bay's restaurant. Happy cooking. All right, so Nick's upstairs, but man needs a taste. Oh my God, this is good. Guys, I'm trying to start my own cooking channel, but don't tell Nick. I'll tell you more in the next video.